Hi, Jackie Lewis here. Beautiful day in Santa Monica, California, and we're here at the Yadigar Memento Exhibition that benefits the victims of the earthquake in Turkey, and we're so excited. The exhibit is all the stuff that we count as our treasures, the heirlooms that we brought from our country into our adopted new country. They, uh, they're all handcrafted. They're all more than 80, 90 years old. And we're very proud, you know, it's, all of them are handmade. They're weaved, they're hammered, they're uh, uh, carved by our grandparents, uh, grandmothers, grandfathers. So we're very happy to exhibit them, let people know about our culture. And this is the story of an immigrant. You know, it's a story of Turkish Americans in here. Let the audience know your name and a little bit about you. Yeah, I'm Vega Sankur. I'm a, actually, by training, I'm a chemical engineer. I'm now retired, so I can do what my heart wants, which is dabble in art, history, art history, and just uh, all this stuff. All the heirlooms, all the culture that we brought to this country and how we have been, you know, successful here, but never forgot about motherland. And um, what are you who are you benefiting today? Um, it just so happened that this region, after we have selected this, is the region that has been affected most with the horrible catastrophic earthquake in Turkey. So we're not only exhibiting their culture, but we have brought a lot of new artifacts that are modernized so that through the sales of those artifacts and this exhibit, we're going to be helping the earthquake victims back in Turkey. So that is why it's a work of heart. Uh, the name is Yadigar, and Yadigar means memento, that it is the stuff that makes us think or feel. So all these things are old things that are passed through the family from grandmothers to granddaughters or grandsons. So it, it really means things that we cherish, that we treasure, and that reminds us where we came from. So here we are with Larry Nehmer. How are you feeling about this amazing Turkish exhibit? Oh, it's fun. You know, for me, it's, um, it's kind of interesting because actually my grandparents are from Turkey. And my son, who's here, um, just retired from playing. Um, he played uh, lacrosse for the Turkish national team. So now he's, um, he's too old to play lacrosse, you know, at the ripe old age of 30. Well, that's great, though. So you're really, and this is benefiting, obviously, the victims of the earthquake. So that's just wonderful as well. Yeah, I know it's wonderful. It's a great cause. And, you know, I mean, for me, it's fun to see, you know, all the crafts and taste the food and do all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's a great cause and, you know, great event. And um, any projects that you're working on right now that you're able to talk about? Sure. Um, I still do a lot of stuff in China. And my big project here in the U.S., I'm doing an award show in June called the Nifties. It's the um, Oscars of the Metaverse. Um, it's interesting because it really is diverse. Um, it, it takes in the world of media and entertainment, not just the U.S., and um, using all modern technology to, to do it. So, yeah, it's interesting. That's wonderful. So yeah, we'll have to hear all about it w once it's over and see how it went. Yeah, no, it's, it, we've had over a thousand nominations already and um, we're going out to Las Vegas June 14th and I think we have almost 200 million TV homes that are signed up to carry it, so. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Larry. Have a great time today. Thank you, thanks for having me. I, I know, I was like. I'm a, I'm a textile girl. I'm, I'm just, I'm all about textiles today. So it's like, you know, I've got your, got some beads and some velvet and some shenanigans on. So it's, you know, we're here to celebrate textiles. So am I. Yes, indeed. Well, <laughs> I mean, I was like, you dressed perfectly. <laughs> well, okay.
<laughs> so are you excited to see this exhibit today? Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I find that I'm getting more and more Turkish things. I was going to say Turkey in my life, but, you know, we're not at Thanksgiving yet. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of being subsumed into the Turkish culture a little bit with some of the things that you've been inviting me to. And I just realized that my book series was published in Turkey, in, 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 in Turkish. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and so I'm just at some... I, I, I need to go back and revisit. And when I did go to Turkey, I, I bought a rug. They wouldn't let me actually leave the country without buying a rug, and so I did. Um, it was, uh, I'm joking, and it was, uh, you know, but it's, it's beautiful, and I've been reading a lot about, you know, the Ottomans and the Turks, so I, maybe I was Turkish in another life. <laughs> it could be, it could be, truly, absolutely. Truly. So, um, any projects you want to talk about right now? I heard you got, uh, you won an award recently. I did, I did, for the Indie Series Awards for Studio City for Best Actress in a Drama, and that's, being a, being a comedian, that's, that's kind of interesting, you know, you you don't often see that. Um, so yeah, so that was fun for Studio City. And uh, let's see, what else? General Hospital's chugging right along. We hope that the writer's strike uh, ends tomorrow, you know, because there are so many people that are affected by that. We haven't been at, at General Hospital, we haven't been affected yet. Um, so, you know, summer's coming up and uh, I've got a little cruise to go on. I'm taking myself up the Danube. Right, I know, I know. Oh. Well, I have a little something to tell you about that, but offline. So anyway, but have fun. Thank That's going to be amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I've got a couple of films coming out. Wineville, which is a horror film. Um, what else? What else? You know? Well, where can people find you with the correct spelling of your last name? H-E-N-N-E-S-Y. Uh, -E -E it's the short spelling. So it's Carolyn Hennessy, all one word. That's on, on all one word. That's on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and pretty much every place else. There you go. That's just me. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, so Nikolai, how are you feeling today at the Yadigar Memento exhibition? I feel uh, really very excited. Uh, reason being is uh, originally I'm from Bulgaria, and Turkey is like you know our southern bordering country, and um, I have like inside love towards Turkey and their rugs, and I grew up you know with their uh, wonderful cuisine like spread around the streets of you know my hometown Sofia and Bulgaria so one thing to see those beautiful craft that I have from Anatole but uh, also my heart goes to the drama that they experienced with that earthquake and uh, this is a wonderful opportunity to try and you know help whatever if only with our souls. Oh, that's wonderful. And do you have any projects that you're able to talk about or want to talk about today? Uh, right now I'm like um, a voice in um, one of the most sold and biggest hits as video games, Call of Duty. And each and every edition of that game, I'm, you know, a different character. So that is like going on. And uh, there is a few other projects that are right now in negotiations. And let's wait until they roll, you know, in, in front of us and see. And where can people find you on social media? Oh, I'm like every actor in every outlet, like Instagram, Facebook. My website is NikolaiStoilov.com and there's links to all these there. Wonderful. Have fun today. Thank you very much. Thank you. You enjoy too. So, Melissa, how are you feeling here at the Yadigar Memento exhibition? Well, I just arrived and uh, it's incredible, actually. I was not expecting anything like this and I'm loving the vibe and I still have to discover everything that's going on. That's great. And are there any uh, projects or anything you'd like to talk about today? Um, let's see. You know, I just got approved for my green card yesterday. So right now I'm in celebration mode and I have lots of projects coming up. I do a ton of voiceovers in French and Turkish and English and... Now I have a film that I'm about to get into. Lots of things happening. And two movies being released this year. And what's your favorite Turkish food? Um, that is a good question. You know, I have to say baklava. <laughs> it's not the best for you, but yeah. Love it. Well, have fun today. Thank you so much. So, Ramis, welcome. Uh, how are you feeling about being here at this amazing exhibition? 
Thank you very much. So uh, I am the consul of uh, Azerbaijan Republic here in Los Angeles. So uh, as you know, Azerbaijan and Turkey is a brotherly country and we are uh, always together uh, in our sadness and in our joy. And as usual, it is a great honor for us to be here. And uh, we are very happy uh, to see the achievement and success of Turkish community in Los Angeles. So uh, uh, I am very uh, pleased to be here uh, with my friends, with Turkish sisters and brothers. I hope that um, uh, they will get more success in future and I wish them uh, good luck and happiness in here in Los Angeles. Thank well, you. Well, thank you so much. I love your outfit and, and have a wonderful time today and thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us. And um, how are you feeling about being here today? I'm excited to see what's going on and what's happening with the exhibition. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, and it's wonderful because it's benefiting obviously the earthquake victims. Yes. Yes, that, which is so important, yeah. And um, any projects that you'd like to talk about today? Well, I have a few on the table <laughs> that I can't really talk about them. So, but um, I'm working also on a feature as well, which I talked about previously. So that one I can talk about. Um, it's called Maya. She's a CIA agent working undercover. So um, I'm excited about that one. And there are three more that I'm working on as well. Oh, that's great. And where can people find you on social media? Gulsa Sarabi. <laughs> yeah. Well, have fun today. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. So here we are with Mehdi and Dustin. How are you guys doing? Good, Great. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to How see you. How are you? you? Nice As to see you. Always. So um, we're here at this amazing Turkish exhibition. How are you feeling? Uh, very good, actually. It's a great afternoon, and we're happy to be here. Yes. You know, uh, when the devastating earthquake hit. Uh, it's not too far from where Maddie's family is from, so you know it, it hit home and we just feel really you know, terrible for people had to go through and, and, and in the cold. And so we're happy to be a part of something that can help ease uh, some of the suffering in any way we can. Yes, it's, uh, that area, whole area is very uh, earthquake prone. You know, we had it in Iran and 20,000 people died and now they had it in Syria and Turkey. So unfortunately, it's uh, where the continents collide and uh, there's a lot of that happens. But uh, hopefully they can do some good fundraising today. Yeah, for, for yeah absolutely. And any projects you guys are able to talk about right now? Well, we just, uh, as you know, uh, we, we were on the big screen with Bruce Willis in his final film. And it was a beautiful film, actually. It's called Assassin. And originally it was called Die Like Lovers. It was based off of a short, which was a hit at Sundance. So uh, beautiful uh, writing and, and directing. And uh, just, uh, it was very special to be a part of that. And we went to the see it on the big screen. And uh, it was really exciting to see your name yeah, on with Bruce Willis. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was pretty exciting. It was pretty exciting. And uh, very, very, everything was so professional. The crew, the lighting, everything. Uh, but we also have... Uh, a new song uh, and a music video coming out uh, this summer. The song is called Rebel. And the song is complete. We're working on the music video, so you'll be part of oh, it yes. when, it's, when it comes out. Oh, exciting! Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. So exciting. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, Medi.em on Instagram and Medi.em on Facebook. Dustin Quick on both Facebook and Instagram and Dustin Quick Fem, as in female, on Twitter. Thank you. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you soon. And tell us how you're feeling to be at this uh, Turkish exhibition. You know, I, I love Turkey and uh, it's one of my favorite places to go to Istanbul and uh, be there because of the culture and the amazing monuments that are there and it reminds me of India because they date back literally as long as they date back in India. So it's, you know, there is this, this cultural sort of connect. And uh, I'm very happy to be here and also support the cause. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great afternoon, evening, and it's just nice to be here out in the sun and you know, meet uh, new people and support it. Wonderful, are there any uh, projects you can talk about right now? Um, I have a couple of projects in India, so that I'm doing in India back home. And unfortunately, as you know, everything is on strike right now, so uh, you know, there's nothing happening here for me. Uh, so there are a couple of projects in India which I'll be doing. Oh, 
Wonderful. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, they can see me uh, on my Instagram, which is uh, at Pooja Batra, P-O-O-J-A-B-A-T-R-A. -A -A. It's verified. And Twitter, also the same name, but it says at I am Pooja Batra. <laughs> I as an I am A-M Pooja Batra. And likewise on Facebook. Great, have fun today. Thank you much. Thank How are you feeling about being at this Turkish exhibit? I know you're just kind of getting here right now. Next thing better than this is being in Istanbul. <laughs> of course, I haven't actually been here yet. <laughs> and they let anyone in clearly because there's Larry Namer who, you know, recently out of prison and doing well. All right, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's great. So any, any, any projects you'd like to talk about today, Larry, that you can talk about? Okay, here's something interesting for the first time ever. I have a new book coming out. Oh. It's called A Touch of the Madness and how to be innovative and creative. You have to be a bit crazy using all my movie business stories. And it comes out from Ben Bella Press uh, in September. But that's my first book. Love that, Thank love you. that. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, at Larry Kazanoff. Have fun today. Thank you so much. Thanks. So Dee Dee Servino, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. We're going to textiles and artistic stuff, and I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, and, and um, it's the amazing Turkish exhibition today. Yes, and I was thinking that, you know, I love cloth, I love clothes, I love garment, I love all of that. So I'm looking forward to seeing the very creative art. Absolutely, because you're an artist yourself and cooking. Cooking, that's right. Wine, servinovino.com. I always have to do that. Uh, but you know what? You know, I, I want to get in the hat business. So anytime it says like textiles, cloth, I get excited. I love it. And I want to learn to sew. So it's just like, you know, and hey, it, you know, it's going to be beautiful. You know, it's going to be great. Absolutely. So um, where can people find you on social media? Dee Dee Servino, uh, Dee Dee GOP on Twitter. And uh, of course, Drinks with Didi, that's uh, YouTube and Roku and whatever. So you put Didi Servino, you're probably going to find me. And I'm excited to be here, and I love Turkey, so it'll be great. Love your outfit. Have fun today. Thank you, darling. Thank you. I was just kind of checking in to see how do you feel about the Yadigar Memento exhibition? Well, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to you know, raise awareness and uh, to um, honor the, the victims and the, the families of the victims of the earthquake. So I think it, it's a great opportunity to showcase the art um, and the artists, but also you know, to, to um, have remembrance of, of what happened in, in Turkey recently. Well, thank you so much for coming, and um, we love what you do for everybody. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you.